7.14 AC. Heredity. In this activity, students conduct a survey to investigate inheritable traits and create hypothetical critters to mate and produce three generations of offspring. Factors of inheritance. As a primer, hand out magazines to your students to investigate and identify specific real-world examples of observable hereditary traits. Or organize a computer lab to search for online resources. Describe in the student journal what each trait is and explain how that trait can be detected. Next, assign pairs of students one of four genetic traits to survey tongue rolling, earlobes detached, dimples, and widow's peak. Ask your class to try to predict the outcome. Record the results of 30 individuals. Total both positive and negative numbers and calculate percentages of each. Do the survey results support student predictions? Tracing inheritance from phenotypic traits. To understand the relationship between genotype and phenotype, draw four sets of dominant and recessive alleles for body shape, body color, hair, and ears. For demonstration purposes, we'll use symbols for traits. For body shape, a square will be the dominant expression and a triangle recessive. Choose two distinct colors for body color. Draw straight and wavy lines for hair traits and for ears, create two distinct lobe types. From these phenotypic sets, create six critters with different allele combinations. To fill in the key at the top of the journal page, use one color of marker to represent the dominant allele and another color to represent the recessive allele. Use a pair of dice to reinforce the random yet determinate aspect of heredity. Roll twice to determine the genotype for each trait. Use the key to fill in the circles with the appropriate colors based on dominant, odd, and recessive, even, counts. Draw the phenotype of each critter in the space provided on the student journal. Use the six critters to produce three generations of offspring. For the parents of the first generation of offspring, select two critters and mark them as mated. Transfer their traits to the top of the trace inheritance chart and draw their features. Use dice to determine A and B alleles for the three offspring, starting with shape. For example, if the first roll is odd, transfer the odd circle's color of parent 1 to the allele A of offspring 1. If the second roll is even, transfer the even circle's color of parent 2 to the allele B of offspring 1. Repeat this process for each remaining trait and for each first-generation offspring. Once complete, select one of the offspring from the first generation and transfer its traits to the parent 3 box. For parent 4, select an unmated critter from the original 6. As before, roll the dice to create the second generation. Continue in the same manner to produce the third-generation offspring. The breeding goal is to end up with at least one offspring with one of the four traits showing their recessive forms in the third generation. As a final part to the activity, use the student journal to complete the questions in reflections and conclusions.